Today is the 22nd Sunday of Ordinary Time, Cycle A. When God called Jeremiah to be his prophet, his spokesperson, Jeremiah refused. He told God that he was too young and inexperienced. The Lord said, do not say you are too young. To whom I send you, you will go. What I have commanded you to speak, you will speak. The Lord promised to protect Jeremiah from his enemies. In today's reading, after prophesying that the kingdom of Judah would fall to the Babylonians, Jeremiah was locked up in stocks and then released. Fairy for his life. He accused God of duping, deceiving him. He did not wish to prophesy anymore, but was unable to hold in the word of God within himself. He has to continue to prophesy. He will be left in an empty system to die of hunger for continuing to speak of Judah's destruction for their sins. But God will make sure he's rescued. A prince will provide him food. It's believed that Jeremiah escaped to Egypt when Jerusalem fell. God was faithful to his promise. Let us pray for the courage to speak the truth in the face of adversity. The major topics of today are abortion, especially late-term abortion, racism, and corruption. Why does the church believe that life begins at conception? After fertilization, all that takes place is nutrition and growth. The fertilized egg called a zygote has all the DNA of a human person. In the Bible, a six months old John the Baptist leaped in the womb of Elizabeth when he encountered the three days old Jesus in Mary's womb. Rarely mentioned is the role of God as co-creator, who puts his spirit in the unborn at conception. The unborn has a soul. Infant side is now being promoted. What is this infant side? You can allow your child to be born and then you can decide whether you wish to keep the child. There is no mention of how the child would be disposed. For example, the Dutch government in April 2023 gave euthanasia for children under 12 the green light, permitting mercy deaths for young minors suffering unbearable and without hope. Children under 12 can already ask for euthanasia with mandatory parental consent until they reach 16. It is also legal for babies under a year old with the parental permission. The danger is that the term unbearable and without hope can be manipulated. Are we going to kill children at the first sign of the word cancer? In the gospel, Jesus reminds us that a disciple requires sacrifices, sometimes one's own life. The kingdom of heaven and earth is a society of peace and justice started by Jesus, which we are to build up. For it to flourish, 
we have to overcome greed, selfishness, financial corruption, and moral depravity that some powerful people engage in and enjoy. Well, ordinary poor people do engage in these sins is the powerful who will not let us change the system that benefits them without a fight. Drug dealers will use violence to defend their turf. Large pharmaceutical companies are spending huge amounts of money to overturn the recent laws that will put an end to their overpricing. And we cannot and we cannot back down and allow corruption and immorality to carry on without proclaiming the truths of the gospel that comment, condemn these behaviors. We have to be witnesses to the truth and demanding change without the use of violence. That will exclude rioting, looting, and wanton destruction of other citizens' property. Do you know why statues of Jesus and Mary are being defaced or beheaded and Bibles are being burned? Do you know that at least 60 attacks in the first three months of 2023 against Christian churches in America, mostly Catholic ones, have gone on We are under attack, but the press is not letting us know. The church was built on the blood of martyrs. After 300 years of persecution by the Roman Empire and the death of millions of Christians who refused to give up the vision of the society that Jesus for, Christianity overcame the mighty Roman Empire without raising a single weapon. You cannot be neutral in this fight to transform this ungodly world. Whoever wish to save his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Do not be afraid. Do not become discouraged. The gates of hell will never prevail against 